What's up? This is Damrick. Jamie Madrock. Man, this is your man. It's Obi Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rocks, the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking records. Breaking records radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check it out. Yo, what up? I'm Mocha Only, and you're checking out Breaking Records Radio. Don't forget that. Because if you do, you're a dummy. <laughs> Let's get straight into the what you got going on right now. The twelve albums in twelve months. Yeah. Uh, so we're halfway there. Have you dropped the sixth one yet? Um. Wait. What month are we going into? What month are we on? June. What month is that? Six. Okay. Yeah, it's coming at the uh, in the week after next is coming out. So. Um. And it's an album called. It's actually a different character. Something I recorded a little while back under the moniker Malkin Jackson <laughs> and the album's called Summerland so it'll be like Mocha Only presents Malkin Jackson Summerland it's an album kind of based on the Okanagan region in British Columbia that's okay. sort of where I got the inspiration from that's the theme of it oh. and the character Malkin Jackson is like a combination of Mocha Only plus Ron Contour like somewhere in the middle <laughs> Well, I was gonna ask him about that too, Ron Contour. He's been uh, he's been an alias you've gone by for a while. What what was the idea behind that to begin with? It's just something silly, just something silly to do. You know what I mean? Something to keep it fresh and different. Yeah, just um, I don't know. I like the idea of taking on characters, like literally stepping into something else out of your own comfort zone, and I'm always a big fan of anything like the absurd I'm kind of like from the same similar school of thought like Frank Zappa right but in my own music I usually don't take the absurdity aspect that far yeah but doing the wrong contour stuff allows me to like I did a wrong contour album years ago called Ron Terrio and the whole album was just all Ontario references and it it was just like the worst it's so bad I can barely <laughs> listen to it it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> so I did find a couple different numbers of albums that you had. One I saw was 80 albums and mixtapes. One was 50. Oh. Which one do you think you're closer to? It's more than 80. More than 80? Yeah, I think it's like 90 something. Well, I think I, I had 80 albums, mixtapes, and 15 EPs. Let's just say projects. Then projects. I, I don't know. You know, I mean, honestly, hard to keep track of that point. Eh? I don't really like. I don't care. Cause I, like, I don't. I don't do that to try to be like a title holder. I just do it because I love doing this mm -hmm. stuff. I just love it. I can't stop. It's all I ever think about. You know what I mean? Even when I'm on, especially when I'm on the road, I'm just like, damn. I wish I had my equipment with me and I could make some music. But this is just simply not time or yeah. logistically like the space to bring. I use like all old stuff, like mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to load like coal in the back, <laughs> build up the pressure. <laughs> anyway, I got a coal-fired sampler. It's from 1952. It's like at the end of the coal era. <laughs> it's called Chuff Chuff Boom Bap. Complimentary gas mask with it. Oh, you don't need a gas mask for it. I mean, it's just it's steam power to just like. <laughs> You have to override the chuffing sound, you know, it's the, <laughs> the wheels turning. <laughs> anyway, that's ridiculous. Breaking fucking records radio.